All right, guys, this is a bad news for Abure as INEC have refused to acknowledge Abure's uh, chairmanship of Labour Party. Now, this is what actually happened. Uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has asked the uh, Federal High Court of Abuja to dismiss a suit filed by Labour Party challenging the exclusion of the party from a refresher training organized by the Commission for uploading party agents in the upcoming Ondo state governorship election. Now, in a counter affidavit deposed by Ayuba Mohamed, an executive officer in INEC litigation and prosecution department, you know, the electoral body maintained that based on its record, Julius Abure Steno as the national chairman of the Labour Party along with party national executive committee expired on June 2024. That's what INEC said. Now, INEC claimed it did not monitor participate in or, or reorganize the purported National Convention of the Labour Party held in March 27th in Anambra State, where Abure claimed to have been re-elected. Right? Now, the Commission argued that the convention was conducted in breach of the Nigerian Constitution, the Electoral Act 2020-2022, sorry, and the Regulation and Guidelines for Political Party 2022, the Labour Party Constitution of 2019 as well. Now, citing its regulation, INEC stated that it only deals with valid and subsisting national chairmen, secretaries of the political parties, in issuing notices and correspondence. As of August 16, 2024, when the refresher training notice was issued, the commission asserted that the Labour Party had no valid national chairman or secretary as their tenor had elapsed in June 2024. All right? So, guys, this is a very serious development. You know, Abure had claimed that he was unjustly removed as a, a national chairman of Labour Party. And, of course, you know, recently we saw uh, Alex Oti, the governor of, of, uh, of uh, Abia State, organizing a Congress, you know, uh, um, Labour Party Congress meeting that actually saw Abure removed. Now, Abure said that that was illegal, all right, that the only person who can constitute or convene a national congress meeting of the Labour Party is only the, is only the party chairman. But the truth of the matter is that INEC is now citing illegality because Julius Abure has said that he was, he was, he was re-elected on March 20, on March 27, 2024. That's what Julius Abure said. But INEC is saying that it was not monitored that guidelines were not followed, electoral acts was not followed, all right? And so this is a very serious development. Right now, as we speak, there is no leadership in Labour Party. That means INEC itself is not even recognizing even the newly caretaker committee chairman of Labour Party, that is Nena, what was her name? Nena D. Usman, all right? Who happens to be the one who was uh, uh, chosen or elected? The whole procedure was not monitored by the, by INEC. All right, so this is a very serious development. So we are watching to see how the whole thing is going to unfold. But suffice it to say that the, this is this, this is going to be the end of Abure. Abure Steno is over, and that means there is going to be another Congress that is going to uh, see to it that a new leader in Labour Party is actually elected. And obviously, that's not going to be Abure, all right? So that is what INEC told court, you know, challenging Abure's claim that he was unjustly removed. So with this development, do you guys still think that uh, Peter B will run under Labour Party? Recently, um, Peter B said that he is considering uh, becoming a, a running candidate to any major candidate who will come out. That means Peter Obi might go back to PDP. That's what it means. He might consider running under as a running mate to another person, either be it a Tikahobaka, Tambual, um uh, how do they call it Saraki? Recently we saw a poster, a postal of Saraki and um Peter Obi. Alright? So, but Peter Obi spokesperson came and debunked it that is not true. So could it be that Peter Obi might be running as a running mate to another major candidate. I want you guys to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.